Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to a Q&A. Uh, it's been like three months since the last Q&A, so I was just like, you know what, why not do a Q&A? Um, to be honest, I was talking about last stream about doing like a stream Q&A, like later on in the future. But as of right now, let's get this one out of the way. You know, it's been a while since I've done a Q&A, and you know, I'm kind of rusty, so let's get started. By the way, there's always going to be like gameplay in the back most of the time. Um, the gameplay is going to be, let's say, Blaze Blue this time because I haven't played a fighting game in like so long, and you know, I've been looking at Tekken Seven, but you know, yeah, I'm gonna have to wait to Christmas see what that winter deal is looking like. You know, I'm trying to save as much as I can. But with that said, let's get into the Q and A. So the first question comes from Jonathan. And his question is: Once we hit into later of Chapter Five, Dragon Blaze. Would you think about quitting the game due to lack of content? If so, can you explain why you would or or why you wouldn't consider quitting? And what's my backup plan? It's kind of a hard one to answer considering that global version will like pump out a lot more than the uh, Korean version just because we're pretty far behind and you know we're catching up at like a Pretty decent speed, but Korean version is still going like pretty strong inside of like updates and everything. But I'm pretty sure the lack of content is just gonna last for a little bit for us because of uh, the speed we're going at right now. But then again, even if it is a lack of content, uh, that still gives me enough time to like catch up and everything. So if anything, I'm still gonna farm. I won't quit the game. Probably if it gets too repetitive, I probably will and come back to it in like the far or near future. But if I was considering of doing that just because of lack of content, not really, just because there are so many characters that I definitely won't have by the time um, we hit like further into chapter five. So I, I doubt it. And what would be my backup plan if that ever did happen? Um, hmm, I'll probably go back to doing indie games, because if you guys don't know, my channel pretty much started from Don't Starve, which I need to play that again soon. Yeah, I, I did, you know what, I'm going to re-download that right now. But my channel started from indie games as well, and there's a whole bunch of indie games that I've done that is like way back there and, the, you know, in a chunk of videos. They're cringy, so, you know, be careful. A lot of cringy... You know, gameplay. I need to do a reaction to some of my old videos. Yeah, this question is giving me so much now. But, yeah, I don't think I'm going to quit it anytime soon. Even if it does hit later into Chapter 5, just because I'm enjoying the game right now. But like I said, maybe if it starts to get, like, too repetitive, I'll just take a break from it for a long time. Like I'm doing with um, Pirates Online. Just because I'm waiting for them to fix a couple of the bugs. Alright, a second question comes from Sad, and Sad asks, Are you gonna be streaming Chapter 5 storyline? Um, well, that's a question that's pretty much already been done. Um, I did stream a little bit of the start off of Chapter 5. Uh, I didn't read everything during that stream, but I did go back and rewatch the stream just because the text is moving so quickly to the point where you can't really process everything. But thank God for my years of watching anime to the point where I can grasp some things that are going on there. But yeah, I played a little bit of Chapter 5 during that stream, which I'll put down in the description if I remember, or if you guys can remind me. But yeah, I already played a little bit of it. Uh, I always do the storylines on a video instead of a stream. But to basically just to pass the time, it's a guild siege. I pretty much did a little bit of the story and opening. Pretty much because people told me it was on like five minutes at the least. But yeah, that's pretty much my answer to that. All right, we got a couple of questions from Wiz. And his first question is, when and why did you decide to become a YouTuber? So that question, hmm. Well, the reason I decided to become a YouTuber is just because I needed, like, something to do on my free time and just as a hobby. 
But the main reason we became YouTubers, and when I say we, it's just because we were in college and there was like a group of friends. You know, we started out doing YouTube on a channel called Broken Logic Gaming, which you guys can probably look up and find. And I'm pretty sure you guys will recognize it. It's like a real old channel. It's like extremely old. And, you know, I wasn't like the best editor at the time. And I was the only person who was editing the video. So, you know, I got into editing and editing was really fun. Making thumbnails were really fun. Thinking with the whole group was fun. But like always, the group has to separate just because, you know, different life things going on. So, yeah. That's the main reason why I decided to become a YouTuber, just because I thought it would be, like, really fun to, you know, play with friends. And we always played games with each other each time classes were over. We would just, like, meet up on raid call and everything, you know, play all these sort of random games. We always used to play, um, what was it, Unturned a little bit. Um, Killing Floor. I think Killing Floor was our first game we played together. Or was it? I don't think it was. No, Bloody Good Time was the first game we, like made a video i think god it's been so long i don't really know what first game we played i have to look that up but it was like really fun just to hang out with them and you know have something to do with each other and that's pretty much what sparked up the whole youtube thing and a couple of us are still doing youtube and streaming um hollow had stopped streaming when he went to college but then but then he started back up streaming so then I started streaming, then Perry started streaming, and it just pretty much went through the cycle of everything. I think I'm the only one who's not verified on Twitch. Hmm. That's unfortunate. That's because I don't stream extremely often. But that will change this January because I got a plan for you guys. But we're going to go through that in a different video. Alright, the second question is... How did you come up with your YouTube channel name? The channel name, the channel name is pretty much my nickname. Which I got in like way back in like high school, I think. In high school, I had a nickname Wolf, and that was it. So that's why I only like used it on the channel and everything, you know, because it just kind of sticks with you. When you get a nickname, it just pretty much just like grabs on and doesn't want to let go, you know. So I used it as just pretty much my channel name, and that's pretty much what I went off of. And plus, my real name is, like, really difficult for people to pronounce, so, you know, that's just, like, a backup, so, if they can't pronounce it, like, right, or are trying too hard to pronounce it right. Alright, his third question is, what is one thing you hate or like about doing YouTube videos or streaming? Now, I'm gonna ask Sir, like, both of these in a different type of way. The thing I like about doing YouTube is talking to you guys because you guys make my life so much happier every time you guys comment and just want to talk with me and everything. Uh, the thing I hate about YouTube though is uh, trying to keep a schedule every time. So that's why I pretty much say screw it. I'm not going to try and like make promises that I definitely can't keep. That is mainly why I always say probably no promises or you know maybe because I don't guarantee anything that I'll do. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, other than that, the second thing I hate is rendering. Rendering a video can take from one to three hours. And that's just one video. Combined videos, that can take up to probably four to six hours. But that's why I edit two videos at the same time. If I edited three, my computer will probably explode. So that's why I edited two at the same time, then I added the last one. So probably up to six hours of rendering is what I go through pretty much every day. Yep. <laughs> and the things I like about streaming and hate about streaming. The thing I hate about streaming is trying to make sure that I have everything perfect. My volume perfect. Make sure everything is supposed to be working and making sure I have everything up that I need. That's the thing I hate. The thing I enjoy about streaming is that I get to talk with you guys live, you know, answer some of your questions, just pretty much chill with you guys and eh, some of you guys like some of the games I stream, some of you guys don't, which is fine. As long as I'm having fun, it really it really doesn't matter what you guys think, okay? <laughs> but yeah, that's some of the things I love about streaming and doing YouTube. 
and some of the things I hate about them. All right, your final question is, would you ever do a vlog or tour of my gaming room or setup? Um, I think I've... No, I don't think I've done a setup video. I think I've done a mic setup video. Uh, hmm. Well, my setup pretty much hasn't changed all that much. But I can show you guys a picture, which is on my Instagram. This is pretty much what my setup looks like. It's like a real old setup, except for there's a few issues with the table now. There's a little bit of paint scraped off and, you know, a few lights everywhere and other objects all over the table. <laughs> God, I need to clean and I need to get a new desk in the future, in the far future. I always love L-shaped desks because they can hold so much around it. But yeah, that's pretty much all we had for the Q&A, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. I will see you guys next time on the next video. Till then, peace out.